Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some pleasant conditions across the region this morning. That's going to be the case for the end of the work week. We'll see some more unsettled conditions for the beginning of the weekend, especially Saturday, late afternoon, the evening hours. And we'll see some more fall-like conditions for the second half of the weekend into uh, next week. As far as our precipitation chances and latent chances today will be zero, and we'll have, uh, in general, fair weather. Taking a look at our current surface analysis, high pressure and control, a cold front across the Ohio Valley will be moving through our region tomorrow, but overall, good weather today. So taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see we do have mostly sunny skies currently across the area, seeing some cloud cover around 20,000 feet off the west, and that'll be the case uh, throughout the remainder of the day. Could see some very well cumulus clouds develop, uh, just a few uh, across the area for uh, later on this afternoon. So taking a look at the Herm model for today and into tomorrow, you can see here cloud cover kind of in and out of the region day in the upper levels. And then moving into tomorrow, here's 2 p.m. or 1400 local. And then moving to 5 p.m. or 1700 local, you see that cold front starting to approach the region. And then moving through during the evening hours and then off the coast by uh, about midnight with the rain shield off the coast by midnight. Going to see uh, good chances those rain showers moving through and it will become Quite chilly once those rain showers move into the area, seeing temperatures drop in the 60s and uh, will be breezy, so feeling more like fall with a uh, cold front moving through for this time of year. So looking at our European model for the next few days, here's Friday with that cold front moving through and then, excuse me, Saturday with cold front moving through and then Sunday, high pressure builds in. We'll have an upper level trough across New England. It's going to give us some more cloud cover across the region. Uh, can't rule out a brief sprinkle, uh, mainly north of Wallops, but overall, um, just some mostly cloudy skies, better chances of rainfall across uh, New England and into uh, interior New York as well as Pennsylvania for uh, Sunday afternoon. But overall, uh, tranquil conditions at Wallops other than some breezy conditions and uh, those mostly cloudy skies. For our Monday, looking at continued breezy conditions, more sunshine, and then Tuesday we'll see uh, Slightly breezy winds, but overall uh, fall-like weather continuing. And then to Wednesday, we'll see that high pressure starting to build off the coast uh, as an upper level disturbance starts to move into the plains, into the Great Lakes. Uh, a little bit of uncertainty of the models of the placement of the upper level disturbance, which is fairly common this time of year, uh, being about six to seven days out. And we'll... Uh, Continue to monitor that disturbance moving through. And here for Thursday, it looks like that uh, disturbance moves into to, uh, the Great Lakes. And then a cold front starting to press towards the region, possibly for Friday of next week. But uh, we'll continue to monitor that weather pattern. For today, we'll see a high of 80 degrees, a low tonight of 64, light winds overall, northeasterly to southeasterly at 5 to 10 knots this afternoon, then becoming southeast to south at 5, 6 to 11 knots, and then south at 7 to 12 knots by tomorrow morning. So some fairly light winds overall. Uh, comfortable temperatures well above or normal for this time of year, anywhere from about 10 to 15 degrees above normal for today. Take a look at our terminal forecast. VFR conditions expected today uh, into tomorrow morning. A slight chance we see some fog overnight, but most likely won't occur. Uh, our tides are running normal and looking at Saturday through Sunday. Saturday, partly cloudy through mid-afternoon, then cloudy with the rain showers likely and cooler. Breezy, high of 77 degrees for Saturday night. Rain likely and breezy during the evening, then clear skies overnight. We'll see cooler conditions as well, low of 54, and for Sunday, partly to mostly cloudy, breezy and seasonable, high of 67 degrees. Red conditions for our rain, as that does look likely for uh, the Saturday uh, late afternoon in the early evening through the uh, late evening hours, and that uh, covers both of these time frames here. And we do have our winds possibly over 25 knots on Saturday, about a 50-50 chance of seeing that, and then slightly lower chances for Saturday night and as well as Sunday. So looking at the next seven days, we'll have that good chance of rainfall on Saturday evening. Other than that, it looks like dry conditions the next seven days with uh, temperatures more normal for this time of year. For Sunday through Thursday of next week, temperatures in the upper 60s to lower to mid 70s and seeing a warming trend for the latter portion of next week uh, with uh, temperatures 74 and 75 degrees on Wednesday and Thursday of next week. And uh, we'll see those overnight lows becoming more seasonable as well and more comfortable uh, with uh, overnight lows in the lower 50s to upper 40s, possibly on Tuesday morning and then back to the mid 50s for Wednesday and Thursday. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday morning, 8.15 at 10 a.m.